Warning, this playthrough has depictions of gore, violence, insanity, delusions, PTSD, schizophrenia, and the list goes on. Since this game is rated C for teens, this game is not to be watched by children or people who are easily mentally disturbed. Accordingly, it is not my job as a YouTuber to be responsible for what people watch my content. Viewer discretion is most certainly advised. Be safe. Doctor will see you in a minute. Go through the door to your eyes. Thank you. Alright, cool. Hi! with what should be, at least by calculations, the final part of Fran Bo. Uh, last time in episode 4, or chapter 4 I should say, I'm gonna confuse a lot for strange. With uh, chapter 4, some wacky shit happened, we met Itward and immediately lost Itward like 5 seconds later, so you know that's great. And we managed to speedrun the second part of the chapter in like, maybe 30 minutes, it was like really super short. Um, where we had to like, find out if we were not dead or not, and then Rainwall came out, and all this shit happened, and now we're on the final chapter. Really fast, I know. Um, I will say, by the way, for all my YouTube audience, it is currently 2.37 in the morning, and you know how it is, your boy can't sleep, so I thought it would be fun to record a video whilst I'm still wide awake. But yeah, it seems like the fifth part is called The House of Madness. So, I wonder how this game's gonna end. Actually, I think I already know how this game is gonna end. I, I saw my friends play it, and I knew the beginning, I knew the end, and I just didn't in the middle, so... Hopefully this should be a lot easier, but we'll find out. Um, but for now, again, this is gonna be a very chill recording, so get your babies out, get your coffee, do what you need to do. And, uh, just relax to me playing some more Frambo for a little bit. Let's get straight into shall we? Alright, Chapter 5, The House of Madness. So I remember the first little scene, because again, I was shocked by how quick it got here. There's Aunt Grace, and we're tied up on a bed. With literal, like, chains and shit. So, um, that's not a good sign. Uh, let's see what's going on. Aunt Grace, say you? You finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What, he ran away? What did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father? Okay, this is a little, like, uh, overdub here. Um, something I didn't know at the time when I played this chapter is that it gets stupidly confusing, not as in, like, um, puzzle-wise, but story-wise. Like, you'll see little subtleties as I play through, but this chapter feels really, really rushed, and it doesn't feel quite complete. Um, or at least in a way, it just makes a lot of loose ends they haven't tied, and I, get, I think the game gets a bit confused at some points. So, yeah, that's to be expected in the storyline. If you're looking for closure in the storyline, you're probably not gonna get it. But, you know, enjoy my reactions to what the fuck happens anyways, I guess. Huh? Is this like some lore I'm missing? Ex excuse me? How can a cat kill your sister and your father? Did Mr. Midnight have a shank or something? Is there something I missed? That's not true. It can't be true. Yeah, how could a cat... Oh, okay. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? So you blame a feline. You know, you don't blame, like, an actual knife wielder or anything. You blame your fucking niece's feline? What? Oh, lovely. How, how, how long is it going? We're literally four and a half minutes exactly in this recording, and I'm worried about questions. Alright. But you have the Mr. Midnight, he's my best friend. But he's to blame somebody else and take responsibility. You fucking... You, you fucker. I'll always take responsibility for my actions, even though they're not so good. Rest now, my darling leader. Not great, don't leave me. Why am I change the bed? Yeah, good question. Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. <laughs> Alright. What are you talking about? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the midnight. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Go to bed and sleep tight. Okay, why are you rhyming now? What are you, a witch? You're selected to suffer, cry, and hate. 
but the darkness wants you to free from all disgrace. Stay tight, my darling friend. What a bitch. Why is this so strange? Why is Mr. Midnight? He could have killed my parents. He's caused the tiniest. Yeah, exactly! He's a fucking cat! If anything, he's just gonna give you a bit of scratches. You're gonna have a bit of scram marks on you. What's he gonna do? He's not gonna cock a gun, like. Mr. Midnight with an A417 fucking. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Got a 50 cal. I hope he's okay. What should I do now? Crazy sound never stops. Oh, yeah, that would piss me off too. If I was tied up or something, forced to a clock. The clockmaker said the time is late reality. Maybe there's another vision of me in this room, and another time. Or am I just imagining things? But if that's true, how can I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said that everything is in my head. Which one do I have again? I have the, the bow found picture, the book, the crayon, the bloody knife, pan Palantrois box, and the Edward's gift. Riding the choo-choo train is the best. The big doll my daddy and I built together. Mm -hmm. Don't take out of context. Are there any monsters in the closet? I guess not. I mean, the monsters in your head, but... You know. I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Jesus. Okay, so we were dreaming then. We weren't... So Dr. Dern is an asshole then, because he said we're not going to take us back. And what does he do? He takes us back and puts us in solitary confinement chains. Hmm, love that. L love that. And the wind the metal dust away. Hello, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. No, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. Yes, I'm chained. Do you unlock it? You're myself. You really are. Wait, it's Fran? It's younger Fran? So where we left off in chapter 4, we found out that we can actually go to the ultra reality without the pills. Which is explained, which is fine and dandy. But, since when did the ultra reality give us time travel? So older Fran is seeing younger Fran. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Ah, oh, okay. So my theories from chapter 4 were right. We don't need the pills anymore. We can enter the ultra reality now whenever we want. That is cool. Did you meet Iwood already? He's talking about he's he's always talking about that. How come younger Fran knows about Iwood? That wouldn't make any sense, because that caused a time paradox then. We didn't know about Iwood until later. Yes, I met already, but I haven't seen since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken, why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross the ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That's extreme. Do you think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Oh, the fucking... The... I forget, I forget the names. The Kamalas. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Can you tell me then why you see the things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk? Good idea. I'll see the famous Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Wow, okay. Let me see if I can lock your chain. This so what happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Okay. Peace out. We've got no items. We lost all our items. Oh, we're actually playing as Yoko Fran? Okay. The big, big teddy that eats big, big monsters. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Can we leave? The door is closed. Okay. So the actual puzzle part begins. Wish me luck. These are pants. They can be used by creatures with two legs. This sure is angry at me. The blue scarf from where time. My key collection. Oh, but I can lock the other front now. Oh, so we're in the other Fran's inventory. Okay, that makes sense. That's Fran with the axe all and it would. One blue blanket and one white. Crayons draw happy faces and everything. I don't feel like drawing right now. Just use this on Fran. 
I have to guess this one. It won't fit. Uh, this one. Oh. That was easy. I'm a fucking genius, lads. Thanks so much, Fran. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you, oh, Fran? Before I forget. Palantra told me that if you met someday, I would just give this to you. Here, I think I'll help you open something. Oh, the golden box! This links back, this links back to, um, chapter three. Uh, the little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it by the ears, first, twice, to the left. Oh, fucking hell, okay. It's a fucking... Apparently, Palantra is the Riddler. We gotta fucking solve a riddle. Alright. Riddle me this, Palantra. Screenshot. So what does it say before I close it? Make sure I got a screenshot, make sure it's clear. Yep. The little golden box having a hard time, all the screaming and the bug is driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first, twice to the left, and once to the right. I rub it's only I two times to see if I tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little goddamn box. Press your eye again and open the door. You know him too, well, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. Ready? Ready for what? Oh no, I can't now. She's coming to be quiet. Oh. Come on, Fran, you must be the doctor now. Okay, you're just gonna. Oh, we're back in the regular reality, alright. Don't go to the Lord Francis, let's talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was anyone lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he'll take Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Okay. Palantra's riddle. Uh, use. So is it like... Is it, like, I'm not sure. Is there more pieces to the riddle? Or can I solve it now? I guess I can try, right? Use. Now, so many buttons to press. Okay, what does it say? So, the little gold box having a hard time. All the screaming and the buggers are driving me mad. I press it by the ears. First, twice to the left. Can I... I guess I can't use it yet. Hey, yo. If there's a, why, why is there a Kamala down there? Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I am a somebody. Seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I just see a black thing eating from me. Yeah, I was about to say. Are you alright? These are... Fran, these are very stupid questions. There's a Kamala. No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. I can help. Uh, I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do, don't worry. Alright, so we need some more water, it seems. Anything useful. Balloons in many colors. Okay. We got balloons. Who is that? This is Alice from school. Oh, fair enough. I didn't know Fran had friends. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. Oh, my school case. I may need it. Okay. I think that's everything. Alright. We need this later. I don't know how the door removed. Yeah, the door's just gone. Oh, there could be stuff in here. What? I have to rearrange all of this? Also, why do you have a picture of Nikola Tesla? Are you serious? I have to rearrange all these. I'm guessing there's a way to, um... Do that, then. Oh, what? I'm gonna cue this little piano to play lovely melodies. Apparently that's useful. Um, okay. I got no fucking clue. Wait. Is something back there? I rip the paper, I can feel the texture. What can it be? Rip it again? There's like, there's a key behind it. Yeah, it's something back there. Can I... Maybe I don't have to rearrange it. Maybe I just gotta find hidden shit. Surely you can just cut it open, right? Oh, there you go. I was gonna say surely. Ha, a key. I better lock something. Oh, the key. Mr. Midnight. It was a gift, right? Use. Key. Oh, come on. That would have been clever. Uh, so far, this chapter's done a very good job actually stumping me. I'm gonna just breeze through it this time.
Uh, cut the door open. I mean, that, that would work. Just cut yourself a hole for it. This might work, but filling the balloons with air won't kill... Ah, uh, are we gonna make water balloons? Does Kamala doesn't like water? So I'm guessing at some point we're gonna make water balloons and we're gonna throw them. Okay. Let's answer one of my questions. The next thing is I need to find how to get water to make water balloons. Is there like a secret button then? Whoa. How have I never noticed that? I always take one of the buttons on my keyboard. If you press tab, it goes to every single thing you can look at. I didn't even know it was a thing. That's pretty useful, actually. I'm not going to use this too much, but that's cool. I don't know why... Is that like a dev thing or something? I don't know. Okay, I think it has some to do with Palin Charles Riddle. Let's fucking try it. Let's try it again. Don't be mad, I press it by the ears. First, twice to the left, once to the right. So what was it? I rub it only. Okay. I rub it only I two times to see if it has tears. Um I take him once by the left ear and scream stop whining. Let's try again. That wasn't it. Okay. Oh, those are the ears. I didn't see. I didn't realize those are the ears. Whoops. Those are the ears. Okay. Whoops. My bad. I thought these white buttons were the ears. This is the fucking ear. I'm stupid. So left, left, right, middle, middle, left, right, left, middle. There we fucking go. Jesus Christ. That took a minute. I'm a master. That took a way too long. Fucking hell. I got it, but like, Jesus. Alright. Oh, khaki. And a clock thing. The e card manual. Well, I know, I think I know what this khaki is for. What the fuck? Oh! Door's fixed. Nice. <laughs> Ecox manual. Mabuka. It's an Ecox clock. Okay. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, mother Mabuka. A whole child is playing with the lights. The Valor cars are angry and shine too bright. Designed by Cogwind. Working bulb, wake up clock. Ah, oh, so we need to, we need to um, get these recipes, I guess. Well, let's get, get these parts. Empty case. We've got, we've got the lunchbox. We got the piano keys. We need a black wire, one glove, soap bar, bottle of water, wake up clock, working ball. Alright, we can go now. What the fuck? Oh god. Oh. Hi. What a big eye. <laughs> There's a key here. Ha! A key to unlock things are locked. Key. Okay. It was hat. There's another key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need that key. There's many doors I wish to unlock. Tell me your friend to be nice to open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Side his teeth are reinforced. It will be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. Well, let's get the key then. And who are you, may I ask? I am Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Oh. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka is Mabuka. You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't. Leave now, just leave. I haven't been here before. Don't just be for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is there so I know. Okay, okay, Mabuka's the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity of the end of night. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. Ah. Oh. Am I the fifth reality? I thought Remo was the king, king here. Ah, oh, Remo the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now, I said enough. Okay. Inside the little house. Well, we already found that. So, um, you know. I've got a dollar number. Okay. It 
Earth guy's heart, maybe the half guy's head. Excuse me? Well, um, uh, you have the soap I need. Does the sound of my heart serve you? Yeah. Pick a stop all certain, that'll be the end. I just want the soap. Yeah, literally. Soap? Are you trying to trouble with your hygiene? Terrible problem to me. Obviously. Your problem. Wait for you, let me have the soap for a little while. Alright, take it, it's all yours. Alright, that was easy. But be careful with the hijackers, they love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads and your baby faces. That's terrible, but be careful. This warning never happens. So what's the point of saying it in the first place? At least to my knowledge. Okay, so... Okay. So is it checked off now? Yep. Well, I'm guessing that's all we can do here. There is a, actually there's a rose by here. Can I get a grab rose? And turn on the water. <gasps> War balloons. Right? War balloons on fossil. Yeah! Alright, we got water balloons. I know what we're doing with these. Come here, you fucking Kamalas. I've got water balloons. I missed. You missed again? Come on. Got him. Nice. Thank you. Don't worry about it, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better, let me give you something in return. A branch. Piece of me, you can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. Can we find this year round? Is that part of the. No? You got a stick? Okay. I guess we're gonna find all that stick does. Well, this is gonna get real confusing because we have a bunch of keys. Uh, this key on 102. Doesn't work. This key on 103. Doesn't work. This key. On 104. Right. Hi. I. Intruder Infuriator, why would, why would you answer that presenting yourself? Oh, hi! Hi! Look, you look lovely. I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must be very well. I see everything, nothing less. Can I see my cat? Your cat? How's it possible that you own a cat? Are you the royal, a queen, a princess? We're friends! We're in a relationship with friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered with Coop back with Buka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Can you scope the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, it's very, very dark, black, the deepest nights. That's him. Okay. I have to go find him. He's asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. I feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. A uh, hairbrush? A hairbrush to brush hair. Not part of the list. A golden snail. Oh. Also, what's this? Can we, like... Oh, it's just lights off. Oh, light bulb! Right? Oh, well, a light bulb now. I need that. I do need a light bulb. Nice. Working bulb. So I had to turn it on to electric me, I'm guessing. But I'm guessing we can go for this. We're gonna Wow, we're literally we're doing a pull in the Mario 64. Um And we do need a bottle, right? Bottle with water. Okay. So we've got a bottle, I have to go back for the water. Another key. Insert button. Interesting. It says 103, so I'm assuming the 103 key fits in there or something. Either we go back to 105 and fill up that bottle of water. Turn on the faucet and then bottle. There we go. Nice. One glove, black wire. There's a black wire there. It does. I mean this wire in the near future. You definitely do. So what are we missing? We're literally missing two things, right? We're missing the wake up clock and the the glove. I don't think I've got any more keys, have I? No. I got a stick, though. Remember I told you, his teeth are reinforced and open his mouth. Sure, remember that. Do you feel pain? 
Hey, is the opposite of welfare, that's all. In welfare, to me, it bleeds when a boy dries up. And pain can be the crystalline laugh of the child. So, yes, I feel pain. I see. So, I'm gonna stab you with my knife. <laughs> no, I want to. Okay, fine. Do you have hygiene problems? Uh, yeah, cool, I don't care. Why did you take my soap? Because I wanted to. Okay, we're back to being stumped again until I figure out how to get the next key. Was there anything in the closet again? I'm double checking. Oh, seriously now? I would have never gotten that. Are you kidding me? That's fucking dumb. A button. And the button looks like, well, it says needs a button, right? And we got a button. So if my mind's thinking correctly. I need to replug in the machine because I fucking took out the plug. But I do have a button now. Insert button. And there goes my button. Now what? Crank. Oh! You got a wrench. Or a pliers even. I love the key. At least I hope you can find me, find, at least it can help me somehow. Oh, so it would dispense me a key, but it dispense me pliers instead. Oh, take the take the cable with you. Don't get the cable. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I just wouldn't think to get the button off the fucking dress. Oh wait, plier the keys off him. Yep. Ow. Key is mine. Fuck you. Shiny little key, come here. I want to know you unlock. Sweet. Bye. Alright, so 103 or 102? I'm guessing it's 103. It's not, it's 102. Okay. Why would you have a box that says 103 give you pliers to get a key that does not take you to 103, but takes you to 102 instead? Huh? Progress. Oh, hi. That's a big cat, it really is. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Oh, there's a glove there. Wait, 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 go back down. Hi? Um, I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> what, one minute, please. Why is the cat going back? Like that. Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Okay, we're missing one more thing, right? Yep, the makeup vlog. Alright, so who the fuck is up here? Let's take off the next key. Excuse me, I really need to get the key hanging just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. Let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not less to the boss part of the deal. Are you stuck? I'm fairly attached to it, why'd you ask? I'm just curious, see you later. I wonder what I'm gonna do with the hairbrush. <laughs> Look, I found a magical hairbrush comb, isn't it great? I don't know, a hair comb? What's that? Wanna try it? Make your hair very pretty and smooth. I don't know, is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant. You can do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Let's promise you won't burn me, okay? I only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Nice. It worked. Never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer. All these friends are meant to do all the same. Well, thank you very much. That was incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is why I need to stick for because I can't reach this. Wow, it is all coming together. <laughs> so I got that key. We can go into room 103. Alright. This is going very well. Huh? The back of a giant cat. Okay. Whoa. Holy shit. The floor is beating like a heart. Guess how Makuba's dead, you're not welcome. Wake up, Makuba. Like my old cat needs to wake up, Makuba. Mother Makuba, to you, arguing little infants. And now how she plans to wake her up? With her crazy ideas of Cogwind? He's not crazy. He's a nice clockmaker. So you know him, I assume you've been to Thirsta. 
Corn place six. Who's gasoline? I want to go there. Was that a fucking typo? That was a typo. I want to go there. <laughs> if I tell little mom, I'll be safe there with little boring creatures. Okay, fuck you then. Hello, boar. Hello, goat. Some like human skulls. Okay, I guess I gotta come back here when I get the thing. Let's go back to the cat. Because the cat had something that was different. Let's open the back of a giant cat. It looks like Mr. Midnight. Lunchbox. Oh, do you have to put it all in him? Okay, that makes sense. Lunchbox. Piano keys. Bottle of water, gloves, soap, light bulb. Cord. Okay, we're just missing the um the wake up clock. There's a clock on how did I not see that? There's a clock around the cat's neck. Nice. Okay. That's everything. Here you go. If that's something else. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Midnight. Here it is. It's amazing. The ECOT clock is finished. So do you go back now to 103 and uh, use it? Use weapon. Beware of Makuba or Mabuka. Beware of my emails. The awakened dogs rise from the unknown. I'm trying to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. I can answer that myself. I'm from a human girl, 11 years old, and very brave, so you know. I'm human, and Makuba's dad is amusing. and brought you here. That'll be Ramor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to answer your head already? You mean, like, cut my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? My pills look like some red beans, so yes, yeah, the whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Thank you, what power is unleashed, you tell me? The power inside of it, you know. You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? I told you that. The great valor cards of Prim Prime you told us everything a long time ago. The keep will be hunted by the sun and darkness after seeing a fear from the red seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. Oh shit. There's something about you. There's something obscure that happens to you? I think Rim will kill my parents, Mother Mabuka. Could you imagine how that feels? I have all those feelings, Rambo. I am every everything sinister, all the dark you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, with desperation and fear. Then you don't care if I will kill my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious to know the reason if that makes you feel better. Now I understand, it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, keep up the key, be brave now. I love my heart for you. Oh shit. Okay. Huh? It's locked, okay. Let's take a number. Oh, we got a good one. Seven. Do I know you from somewhere? You left something from me, didn't you, little friend? Where's my knitting needle? Do you stab with your little friends with it? Are you dead, nurse? So back in Oslo Asylum? Do they look dead to you, you little beast? Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. I thought you might go touch I just wanted to find my kitty. Then take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Oh, so it's seven, you have to wait? Are you serious? Oh, for fuck's sake. I wonder how long I have to wait now. Hours? Maybe days? I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month, but I have number two, so maybe my turn very soon. I've waited for three and a half weeks, totally hopeless. But is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself, that'll be faster. And by doing that, you can also help us all. Why don't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't, my R-I, as in red eye? 
or right eye. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be locked up for patience. You can I, I lost the ability to fright myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Do you feel pain? It's a very hard question. I'll make it softer. How can I do that? Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Impossible to talk with you. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. I am royally confused. Alright. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one who sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. There's very lot to understand it all. That's true. It would be nice to see some common sense. Why does common sense got to come? What the fuck helps to understand? We miss that each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Who sees all them? You seen Makaba? Mabuka? No, Buka is everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait, because the way talking to people makes the world go faster. Thanks for nothing. It's supposed to be the number display. Seven. It says seven. Dude, I hope this doesn't ha I hope this doesn't mean I gotta change my game time or something. That'd be stupid. Number two is not my turn. Exchange tickets? Would it be possible to exchange tickets? I have number seven. No need to know if I'm paying. No need to know what illness I have. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you give me a ticket then? Sure, if I'm still here, then we come back. Oh, so I have to train him? Okay, so I have to figure out what his illness is. Wait, the eye sees all, right? So the eye can. The eye probably knows what, what's wrong with him. I need your help. Yeah! Of course I do. Patient trouble. Can you tell me what illness the creature wears ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Let me see. I see him. From what I see, he's not really an illness. Just a headache caused by the levels of agony. But is it possible to help him somehow? I need a ticket. Yes. Crying all the tears you can cry until you find this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That would be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better with the kitty and I got home. But now everything's confused. I'm going to totally crazy. Talking to her is horrible. I trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Oh, so she's making herself cry. Okay. I was like, what, girl, why are you trauma dumping on the eye? Alright, that makes sense. Sorry, I was a bit late to that one. Frambo Lyrius went, okay, I can cry, and began trauma dumping. The ball is now full of your tears. Give us the crystal that has your ticket. Go now. Time isn't waiting for anybody. I'll be going now. Okay, that was fast. I'm getting actually really good to it. Hey, drink this. You feel much better. Oh, try the poison me? I'll love it. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound, darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more. Give me more. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. There you go. Nice. And thank you. It tastes absolutely delicious. And look at that, I just hit two. Shoot, it's not your turn yet. Um, yes it is. We're going to do all we can do to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number of weights. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people out of appointments. But I'm not sick, I lost my kid and want to find him. I lost kid, don't worry, that's a, that's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky enough, many lose their minds instead. But how do I get an appointment then? Just call me, here's my card with the telephone number. Are you insane? Call us. Oh, for fuck's sake. My well, wonder what we're you doing now. Remember the phone? Oh, God. Alright. 01-221-217-276. Why must I call you? Why can't I just make an appointment now? Yeah, like, wait, I'm right here. I thought I'd be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. I'll wait the call, then. That's fucking... Shit. Okay. Oh, it actually. Okay, I took a picture of the number, but it actually just gives us the number anyway. All right, cool. Zero one two two one two one seven two seven six. Time to collect an appointment. It's Fran Bo. Uh huh. I'm available now. Uh, no, no, and no. Yes, I'm a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you, boy. Yes, bye. 
Well, that was fucking pointless. Oh, is she in the building? Do you have an appointment? Yes, friend bro's in appointments now. Let me check the archivist. There you are. Doctor will see you in a minute. Go through the door to your right. Thank you. Alright, cool. Hi! I'm sorry, that's scary. You look quite pallid. Phew, yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't want, I have an appointment. Alright. Because none of my business. Okay, fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh my god, it's fucking remorse. No fucking way is this prick again. Alright, serious mode, let's go. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? Aren't you? I have had a chance to just myself properly. Sadly, I cannot eat, I can't, I cannot be seen the third reality for long periods of time. I am more a terrible black. Prince of Darkness. I know you are. Nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you stop doing? I immensely enjoy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. Not anymore. I don't like to trick me anymore. Why did you kill my parents? You're assuming that it was I who did such a horrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must have been you did it. You trust your eyes too much. How much you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, it needs to corrupt. Not again. Oh shit, it was Fran! Plot twist! So after all this time, we thought that Fran um, was the nice guy and was the evil guy. We killed our parents. Fucking, that is a plot twist. Holy shit. I forgot that happens. Dude. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The Dodo Critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. That's the last ever scene Remora is in. There is no closure towards the character, and we have still have no idea what he is. At least to me, anyway. So what the hell? Ouch. I didn't kill my parents. Again, bad grandma. It's fine. It's fine, okay? They're, they're a small community. I didn't kill... <laughs> That monster wants to trick me, I know it. Everybody's crazy without here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Alright. A tank full of water. Do I need more water? Oh god, Dr. Dern's tied up. Ooh, a syringe. That's very fluid, so what could it be? I missed the midnight here. Are you alright, sir? Please, Dr. Dern, make me alive. What shall I do to wake him up? Inject him with the red stuff. Maybe this will wake him up. I didn't mean it! Damn, what was that? It's me, Fran. I can't see very well. From the Oswald Asylum, we were at the cemetery, remember? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Grace. What is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. Oh, I did, but I told you she was a homeless team. Do I get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace. Why are you talking like that? Who's this old man? How lovely. You sound like your mother when she was young. Grandpa? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you. Oh, shit. Oswald Asylum? The same old man. Why do you know my mother and my aunt? Many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. 
His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding my knife after all. So apparently, yeah, we killed we killed our parents. Oh shit. Why is he answering me? Where was the manifestation of your weakness? A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected through growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I have found a place to go without bothering you. So let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry if it's so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Okay. That's a 180. Whoa. Okay, I think we're getting towards the ending. Because, again, I know what happens. And it's tragic. So, um... Yeah, if I got the plot twist that Fran killed... Um, her parents was bad enough. Um... Just watch this. I already know what's gonna happen. Listen to me. You must know that Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia is pregnant with you, um, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you, hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's still one more thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Uh, the cat is dead now. Kill my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How could you live for yourself? Oh shit, yeah. Yo, I forgot about that scene. I forgot man has a gun. Okay, so bit of a triple here, a triple confusing lore moment. First off, why does Aunt Grace still think that the cat has killed, you know, um, her sister and father and all that? And like saying like the cat is the one that kills our parents as well. When it was clearly shown that Fran killed up Fran was the one that killed her parents. So that's, that's the first one. The second one is, why is Oswald still alive? And where the hell has he been all this time? They just introduced him now for the last bit of the game. So what was the point of that? And also, most importantly, why does he have a gun? Uh, yep. Yeah. I'll give you guys five minutes because that scene is rough. I've already seen that scene already, um, so I knew it was going to happen. Also, I totally glossed over this when uh, Anne Grey says, oh my goodness, she's insane. She's calling us insane when she tried accusing a cat of killing people and literally just kill the cat, which is like literally murder. Like... She's calling us insane. What? Ha what? Alright, let's continue. Bring it to me. I'll do experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, you're alright. What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You're right about Fran, Dr. Dib. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment many years. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now I have it, nothing can stop me. Something will. It's words! Bastards. Oh, Fran. Everything will be fine. Who are you? I'm Edward. The one many children talk about. You're not human. Ectobro, Ectobro, de Balantra, Monarchist. Oh, thank God, the um, Axolotl's here. 
Ghost got in when I found him. S stay away from the girl, leave her alone. And Mr. Midnight's back. That was a haha -ha troll. In there. Therefore, must be cured. Do you think he's the same body? Yeah, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. So the child's innocence. Friends are dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, friend, and you'll be able to walk towards light. So, yeah. What happened? It would pal and trial, my heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how you're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much, please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? Alright. Dr. Dirt, look, this is it would pal and trial. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Do you believe me now? Oh fucking hell. Jesus. He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mark Mobbuka now. We really must leave now. He can come with us, please. He's been really nice to me. He really wants to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all this was a dream. He'll wake up and think, no, this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Thank you. Aww. Now it's ten. Dr. Dean home. Dr. Dean home, sorry. Uh, Marcel Dern Anum Vecma Sinasa Hector. Yeah, get him out of here. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. Sounds like fun. Let's go. And that's the end. Yep. <laughs> it just ends like that. I still don't know how many things. But one thing I do know. That between chaos and fear. I choose happiness. The fire machine still works. And that's it. Holy shit. We're finally done with Fran Bow. Oh my god. I love the little, uh, the little ha ha troll there. Like, that shit was, like, fucking intense. You know? Like, my god. What a game, man. Honestly, what a fucking game. It does a really, really good job at, like, picturing what it is like to have, like, the schizophrenia and the really fucking delusions and shit. Like, it, it knows what it was doing. And so I really haven't actually got to play this game and finish it. Like, from start to finish. Um, I will say, I am planning on working on uh, Little Misfortune after this. Because I've still got to edit. As of this recording, I have done two-fifths of the Life is Strange extras video. Um, so, I am going to jump into Little Misfortune, I think. Because it is the next game after Franbo that the um, developers have made. And the difference with that game is that I have completely no idea what I'm doing in that game. Like, I don't know anything about the story, nothing. It's, I have completely no idea. So... Yeah, that's gonna be fun. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna end with Franbo. That's literally all I can do in the game. The game is completely finished. Man, what a fucking dream. Like, it took a lot of time to finish. But it's finally done, and I'm so glad this finally done, because we want to have great things. So yeah, like I said, the next playthrough, apart from obviously Life is Marathon, will be uh, Little Misfortune. So stay tuned for that, because that's going to be more of a blind playthrough, and less of a, you know, walkthrough with little hints like that. Um, but for now, if you guys have enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, it always helps me, because you guys support the channel. Also, check out my Discord and my Twitch. 
um, you can come follow me there and hang out. You will know every time when I upload, every time when I stream, and all that good stuff. And check out my mods on my socials. Oh, it's just my socials. Check out my mods in the description. I'm trying to say. Blech, I can speak with words. Excuse me. But yeah. Apart from that, thank you for watching. It's been Blue. Sign off for now. Peace.